Steve Mack here. I'm going to bring some real, real truth here. You might have seen me sitting in my car and a couple of things talking about the weather. Yeah, this and yeah, that. Um, like I say this morning, use that as an example. Keeping it all toned down, keeping it very real, very normal. But I tell you what, this here, how many of you are sat there today waiting on someone else to make a decision for you? You're at, you're at work, and this is a prime example. You're waiting for a phone call. You're waiting for your boss to say you can go home. You're waiting for someone else to tell you what to do, and you do that all the time. And you're like, I've got no choice. I've got no choice. I have to wait for that call. I have to wait for that, that to come through so I can go and do what I want, so I can use this free time, well, my free time to go sit on my couch and watch TV or something, because I can guarantee that's what most of you do. And like I say, I only speak from experience here. I used to have to do this and sook and complain. I, I can't do this. I can't do that because it's not up to me. It's not up to me. I've got to wait for my boss to tell me what to do. I've got to wait for the fucking the moon to be in the right place or the sun to be shining from the right fucking angle. It's fucking excuses, people. And I'll tell you what. I, I think I put out there about committing to something. You know what I reckon was wrong with most people these days? Is it committed? But is it committed to the wrong shit? Is it committed to using an excuse when the timing's right to make a fucking choice or a decision to go the other way? But you're more committed to the bullshit story you're telling yourself. Imagine you flip that up. Turn that shit round. Be committed to something new. Be committed to something that's worked for someone else. Not be committed to whatever easy option you've usually got. Like straight away, I don't have a choice in what I do when something's not going right at work because I have to wait for my boss, who I'm there, pay for his fucking dreams to make a decision for me. Does that not sound backwards to you? Does that not sound fucking ass up? And this is not anger, but it is a little bit aggressive. You know why? Sometimes I think that we need a kick in the ass to motivate us to make a change. I can sit here, I can be calm. I can tell you my story in my day. I can talk about the weather. But that's bullshit sometimes when it gets comes to getting a message through. I need a kick in the ass myself sometimes to get a message through. To change my ways. But why do we have to fucking rely on that? Why do we have to wait for that kick in the ass? For that down moment? For that moment of pain where we get motivated to make a change? This gets me worked up. As you can tell here. That I can get worked up with a smile on my face. Because this is me delivering my truth. My message. I know I've got to mix it up for you guys. Because some of you sit there like a fucking robot. Waiting for orders. You just need a jolt. You need to be freaking shook. Why do that? Why live a life relying on someone else to make your decisions? But that's where it comes back to too. Like I say before, you've committed to them. That's what you want because you like playing it safe. So when something comes up that seems a little different or too hard, you play it safe and use their decision as your excuse. I can rant and rave. I can talk. But I only talk from my experience. I only speak to you from what I have gone through and what I have learned from. The mistakes I have made because I used to play it safe. So, are you going to step the fuck up and make a decision for yourself? That's right, you. You. Make a choice for yourself. Be committed to something new. Be committed to making a change that will better your life. Not something that will keep you in that safety of using excuses to just fucking exist. I'm Steve Mack. And there are so many better ways, guys. If it's not my way, it's okay. But this is my better way. Stop making excuses. Happy afternoon. See? Smiling. Passion, not anger.